And so. what, did, what did your parents do for work? Um, both of my parents are engineers, actually um, mechanical engineers. Um, both very talented design engineers, actually. And um, you know, there was uh, something sort of, I think from the beginning, uh, the way, and maybe you know, if some of you have sort of a recent immigrant generation, so you hear from your grandparents or parents, you know, there's a certain part about the drive about sort of achieving something or getting somewhere that it seems to be some, sometimes it's almost overwhelmingly so, like that you have this role that you have to fulfill. You have to get somewhere. Um, you know, I could sort of, I mean, I was signed up for a music school when I was seven, so I had to play the piano because, you know, ultimately maybe my parents thought that that would be an easier thing, you know, easier profession to achieve because um, I'm a Russian Jew, so back in those days, you know, being Jewish did not mean you were religion, Jew because there was really no religion in the state but what it meant it was called your nationality so it's literally like in your passport you are either Russian or Ukrainian or Jewish and it wasn't sort of a secret it was actually something that was pointed to quite a lot so I've experienced a lot of prejudice from very young age I mean I knew well obviously my last name is Reutberg it's a Jewish last name so you know you couldn't hide that and um, you know for no reason at all just for the fact that my last name was Jewish it was something that you know you sort of experienced a lot of personal anti-Semitism. I mean, including an English teacher who would, you know, sort of accuse of a student who is answering a lesson at the blackboard and he doesn't know what he's talking about. And she would sort of tell him that, you know, he's behaving like a Jew. And this is fourth grade. So you have to understand this is sort of, there you're growing up without sort of any kind of background to that. But uh, at the same time, you sort of, you hate the fact that you don't have the option of doing whatever you want when time will come to go to school. And, um, because basically, you know, a college will find a way to fail you, even though I was an A student, I was a really good student, because, I mean, I had no choice. Both of my parents were really, really pushy in that respect. And you have to understand, both of them came from sort of very working class families. My, both of my parents were the first ones to go to uh, university. I mean, my grandmother only had four years of school. And she wrote, you know, it's funny because in my first year of Parsons, she wrote me letters once a month. And the letter consisted of one page without any punctuation mark. It was literally like one yeah. sentence. And basically the whole content of the letter was that, you know, you know go to the cafeteria and try to eat well. I mean, <laughs> and then in that envelope, there'll be a $20 bill or a $10 bill, depending on the month, you know, how well she did. But, you know, this is sort of the dynamic of a history, but the strength that she had and the work ethic that she had was amazing. And, you know, when you were, in those days, you sort of, you love your grandparents or parents, but you not necessarily know why, you know. I think that as, as you get much older and you look back, or maybe when somebody asks you a question, you sort of find a reason why, and all of a sudden, you know, it's just, oh my God, this is like, Eureka, this clear. I mean, this is where I get it from, you know. It's gotta be it. 